What's up gaming boys, it's your boy Tom Reisenthal here with a little bit of that hot gaming content. If you're like me, you were very sad to see the uh, news that the Bogdanoff twins had died. Now if you don't know who the Bogdanoff twins are, they are the smartest people in the world who also control all of global finance and science. Um, now of course, the news of their death is a little suspicious and I think that if you really are like in tune with the news, like you listen to a lot of, of like Joe Rogan or whatever, you're gonna know that Really, they're probably not dead because the official story is they died of COVID, and uh, COVID doesn't exist. But um, what I think is more likely is that um, they went to the sixth astral plane. It, you know, they were the ones that found all the different astral planes. They went to the sixth astral plane, also known as uh, Hell, to get back um, their their sworn enemy, Jeffrey Epstein, and bring him to justice. So um, I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them at 3 a.m., but I'm not gonna call them on the phone. I'm gonna do a blood magic ritual to summon them because I really need to know if I should keep or sell my AMC stock. I don't know when this short is gonna happen, guys. Um, so the way we're gonna do the spell, this is just old fashioned blood magic. Um, it's gonna be the kind that you're gonna learn about on the internet. Very simple spell. Uh, what I'm first gonna do is, I have a little pin here. Um, I'm just going to drive this into my finger, um, you know, just a little bit. It's going to hurt, um, but I just got to get a little bit of blood, guys. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm simply going to prick my finger, which I've already done there, um, to release some of the blood. Um, and. Uh, uh, I've already killed an animal here, so there's already plenty of blood, but I'm just going to, you know, just try to just get as much of this blood out of me as possible, and just, uh, I'm just trying to rub it all over my face. Um, just as much as you can get out, just rub it just all over your face. This is also kind of a tutorial in how to, um, how to do, uh, blood magic. Now, now that I have that done, now that I've released the blood, uh, that the blood is released, um, I am going to read the spell. In this case, for this particular thing, the spell is a segment from a Dennis Prager article from 2008. Um, so, let me just uh, pull up this spell here. Um, and while I'm doing this, I need you to just imagine that Dennis Prager is right over my shoulder. All right, because that's very important for the spell. All right. It is an axiom of contemporary marital life that, is it, that if a wife is not in the mood, she need not have sex with her husband. Here's some arguments why a woman who loves her husband might want to rethink this axiom. First, women need to recognize how a man understands a wife's refusal to have sex with him. A husband knows that his wife loves him first and foremost by her willingness to give her body to him. This is rarely the case for women. Few women know their husband loves them because he gives her his body. The idea sounds almost funny. This is therefore usually a revelation to a woman. Many women think men's nature are similar to theirs. And this is so different from a woman's nature that few women know this about men unless told about it. All right, guys, so that's the spell. Everybody say thank you to Dennis. Um, and uh, now we're just gonna wait a second. And uh, if you see behind me, the portal should be opening up behind me. Um, and the, uh, the Bog brothers uh, should be seeing. And now what I want to ask them is if the AMC stock will go down or will go up in the next week before they, of course, uh, return to our mortal plane. Because they are not, uh, they're not gone.